Very excited about Andy Reid in his playoff here to come to town. I like it. Donovan McNabb, folks. He, he's good. Eli Manning. He, he's good. Right. In the first quarter, got the Giants on the board first. They're up 3-0. Here we are mid first quarter. Eli Manning victimized by Asante Samuel, who I guess he loves playing against Manning. He, no, he loves to play in big games. Big time players make big time plays in big time games, and that's one of the most exciting cornerbacks in the game today. And that set up McNabb and the Eagles, who really weren't able to move the ball much in the first half of this game. He throws it out on second and goal, but. Michael Johnson with a basket hold. Hank Basket can't do that. Gives the Eagles a fresh set of downs, and then McNabb keeps it himself. Eagles on top in New Jersey, 7-3. Second quarter we go. That's still your score. McNabb deep in his own end, now in the end zone. He's pressured, flings it away, and Mike Carey's going to have none of that. Calls intentional grounding. There's a guy over there. There really isn't. Yeah, I don't like that call. You try to talk. No, he was trying to throw a coach of the seat receiver in the corner, yeah. and he was hit. That's just survival. Yeah. That is, as Justin Tuck will explain, a safety. Giants now down 2-7-5 and have good field position off the free kick. Manning to Kevin Boss. The second the Eagles play has really come along quickly. Four plays later, John Carney kicking a field goal as many years as he is on the planet 46 it's wide right yeah, it's hard to judge the wind in that stadium it swirls in there so it's still 7-5 four minutes to go in the first half ninth play of the Eagles possession and McNabb is picked by Kevin Dockery the pressure got to him just as he was cocking his arm Giants get the ball back first play 27 running downhill yeah, this guy's had three weeks off now. He's fresh, he's healthy, and he's 270 pounds. 24 yards for Brandon Jacobs. Two plays later, Manning, without Plexico Burris, I would say this is his safety blanket. That would be Kevin Boss across the middle. 25 yards down to the Eagles, 26. Three plays later, third and five at the Philly 21. The Giants trying to get pay dirt for the first time all day. Manning to Derek Ward. Stop just short of the first down. And Tom Coughlin decides to kick the field goal instead of going for it. Your thoughts? Well, you know, he wants to take the lead. He's going to have the easy field goal. Eight to seven, take the lead. But instead, he left enough time on the clock for the Eagles to get the ball back. And Deshaun Jackson picks up the first down. Three plays later, 47 ticks to go. McNabb to Jason Avant. And that led to David Akers getting the field goal. So the Giants didn't get the lead in half. They were down 10 to eight. First drive of the second half of the Eagles, and Tim Robbins is big man with football. Who's going to make that play now, Kevin Curtis? Oh, he did. Off the tip drill. McNabb doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. He's the best in football at avoiding them, but he threw two today. Could you imagine if Fred Robbins had held it up? Yeah, he should have held it up. Look at the big fellow, though. Look at the athleticism. First of all, he makes the catch, then shed two oncoming tackles. And if he had just switched the ball, he had those points of pressure. Timber. Four points of pressure. Four plays later, it's third and five in the red zone again, and Manning can't pick up the first down. The Giants settle for another field goal. Do get the lead back at 11 to 10. Nets Eagles possession, third and 20. Giants defense in good position to get the Eagles off the field, but McNabb buys time and finds an open Jason Avant, who picks up the first down on third and 20. He can improvise and create with the best of them. Five plays later, it's third and long again, third and 10. That's a mere bag of shells if you pick up third great and 20. Blocking, great time, great poise, moving his feet. Hey, you cannot cover a running back for that long. I don't fault Antonio Pierce for, for giving up that reception. Terrell Buckhalter's big first down gain led to another field goal for David Akers, 13-11, when Manning next drive right up top to Dominic Hickson. Biggest play of the pass play of the day for the Giants, 34 yards to the Eagles, 33 plays later. On third down, the Giants were 2 of 10 on third down at this point of the game. And John Carney comes out and misses another field goal. Yeah, he doesn't do this very often, but these were very costly in this game. So it's still 13-11 Philadelphia. Next Eagles possession, McNabb, LJ Smith, tack on 15 more. Antonio Pierce got a fist full of mask on the play. Yeah, good call. 15 more on the end of the drive, on the end of the run. Next play is at the Giants 29. McNabb to Kevin Curtis over the middle. A now, great look off with his eyes. He looked for the back, back in the flat, taking the linebackers that way. He didn't hit the back coming up on the knee. Three knee. plays later, third and one. Eagles had a problem against the Giants on short yardage earlier this season. Not on this day. Westbrook picks it up. Fourth quarter we go. First and goal. 
Brent Selleck, no relation to Mark Selleck of NFL Network. Yeah, 65 U corner, halfback flat, touchdown Love in the corner. You call it play like this. Eagles up 20 to 11. It's a two score deficit now for the Giants on third and three. Derek Ward is stopped short of the line of game. It seems bring out the chains. Spot. He doesn't get it. Why would Tom Coughlin challenge when it's just three links of the chain? He thought that this guy made it. He thought the ball was over that line. Play stood as called though, so it's a timeout and a challenge lost. They go for it anyway on fourth and inches, and Manning cannot you have pick a it up. 270 pound back, and you quarterback. It looks like Coach me up, up Coach. Yeah, you get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh my goodness, turnover on the downs for the Giants. Down nine, and Tom Coughlin again down a challenge and a timeout on that drive. Third and five, three plays later, McNabb swings it out to Westbrook. Great tackle by Corey Webster. Forces the Eagles to punt. The Giants get the ball back. They're on their own 47 again. Third and three again. Derek Ward again can't pick up the first down. So the Giants, they got to go, right? Got to go. Got to go. Fourth and two now with 6.36 to go. And Brandon Jacobs, they try it your way, Dion. And the Eagles turn him away anyway. Yeah, big fella got to open his eyes. The cutback was right there, and he did not see it backside. And the Giants on consecutive possessions turn the ball over on downs to the Eagles, who do not go three and out this time. McNabb up top to Deshaun Jackson. Rookie makes a grab. That led to another Eagles field goal, 23-11. The alarm is sounding in Jersey. Manning to Amani Toomer on the sidelines gets out of bounds. Next play, Eli Manning, the Super Bowl MVP, who had a lot of magic in his arm last year, throws a pick to Quentin Michael. He wasn't there now. He didn't get the ball to his wide receivers like he wanted to this day. And that essentially wraps it up. McNabb on the uh, rollout. Tries to pick up the first down. Runs into the Giants' sidelines and has a little phone home. Call. I think he's trying to get you your Verizon Wireless deal. <laughs> Jeffrey Lurie's got the playoff beard. Owner playoff the beard. The Eagles. How about the Philadelphia Eagles? Wow. Once upon a time, 5-5-1, five, five and one, back in the NFC Championship game now for the fifth time in eight years, courtesy to the guy they wanted to run out of town.